Now, National Instruments is very proud of our long history and our offering and continuity of our measurement offering for sensor-based measurements. And you've seen this morning how we continue to expand that offering. But at the same time, NI is driven to look for breakthrough new technologies, things that can provide new ways of acquiring measurement data. And to tell us about one new exciting technology, please welcome from R&D, Philip Wong and Stuart Gillen. Good morning, guys. Good morning. We are all familiar with measuring things like strain and temperature with electrical strain gauges and thermocouples. But there are many situations where these methods would be difficult or even impossible to implement. So how about instead of using electricity and conductive material, we use light and optical fiber. This would allow us to overcome many of the drawbacks found with conventional voltage or current measurements. I'm pleased to introduce to you NI's first product to use optical sensing technology the PXI Express 4844 Optical Sensor Interrogator. This module is designed to measure fiber Bragg grading sensors, which work by reflecting wavelengths of light that change with strain and temperature. By providing broadband light to the fiber Bragg gratings and measuring the change in reflected wavelength, we can effectively take measurements at these points. And of course, this is all supported by LabVIEW through a LabVIEW API that resembles DACMX. This way, users that are familiar with programming our DAC products will have no problems implementing the code. So, Philip, sounds like some exciting technology, but what would be a typical application or use of this new technology? Well, since they're based on optics, the sensors and cables won't conduct electricity, which means they're electrically passive and immune to things like high voltages and EMI. This four-channel device will allow you to make measurements in places that conventional sensors just could not perform. Okay, so you said a four-channel device, so that means I would get four points of measurement that are immune to high voltage and are EMI-free? You're correct, except for the four points of measurements. You see, since each sensor is tuned to a specific wavelength, we can actually sweep a spectrum of wavelengths, allowing us to have multiple sensors on one cable. This can dramatically reduce the cost and burden of cable management typical of large sensor count applications. Another advantage of fiber optic cables is their ability to transmit data over long, no, really long distances. For us, that means we're able to make measurements um, spanning several miles without data degradation. And because we're transmitting light and not voltages, we're able to use these sensors in hazardous environments. Okay, guys, I've heard you talk about hazardous environments, high voltage. Uh, you know, nothing against the R&D guys. It sounds good, but I got to see it to believe it. We figured you would say that. To show the measurements immunity to high voltages and EMI, we thought we would make it rain and have you fly a kite. But instead of bringing you to a lightning storm, we thought we'd bring a lightning storm inside to you. To the side of the stage, you will find two four-foot Tesla coils <laughs> capable of producing arcs over 250 kilovolts provided to us by the experimental music group, Architac. Okay, Architac, now is this the same group that I think I've recently seen on TV as part of America's Got Talent? The very same. The music that they play is not produced by speakers, but rather the result of high voltage arcs driven at different frequencies. All right. John, we have uh, 300 feet of fiber optic cable connected between the optical sensor interrogator located here on stage and between an optical temperature sensor located between the two Tesla coils. We'll be measuring the temperature as affected by the high voltage arcs and monitoring the data with this VI. This is something we wouldn't dare do with conventional thermocouples as we might fry all of our equipment. All right, so it sounds dangerous but fun. Let's give it a shot. Uh, let's do it. As you can see, even after a barrage of electrical strikes, the sensors and our equipment were not only left undamaged, but we were able to plot the temperature steadily without any noise. Now, you may not be using Tesla coils in your workplace, 
but you can easily see how industries and applications like oil and gas and structural health monitoring would benefit from this new technology, especially when dealing with extremely long distances, harsh environments, or high voltages. All right, well, it looks like some great technology that opens up some new application possibilities. Uh, Philip, Stuart, thank you for introducing us to optical sensing. Thank you. Thanks, guys.